All right. Well, y'all called it. We're starting 15 minutes earlier than scheduled, which is seems to be the norm for me. Anyways, hello everybody. Zoro Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. I don't remember the last time I streamed on a Tuesday. It's been quite some time, probably. Uh, that's because I'm going to be doing a slight experiment with stream formats uh, in the pin messages, basically 60 to actually I think it's supposed to be 90 minutes in length per stream. I think I'm trying to hit like four or five streams per week. I think that'll work well. I usually play best in the first hour anyways, so it makes the most sense for me and I can provide you guys with a lot more content rather than it just being three or four hours on a single vehicle. So that's why I figured, you know what, about an hour's enough to showcase any tank that I'm playing and then I can show you guys a lot more vehicles uh, and give you a lot more content. So hopefully you enjoyed that, but always, as always, feedback is welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hello to everybody in chat. Great to have you here as always. Also, this new garage. Uh, I don't know if it's new, but I, I just realized, I mean, okay, that's kind of cool, but it's super dark. Maybe it's just me. I don't like how dark the garage is. I can't even like appreciate the tanks. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, today, T55A, I've actually wanted to stream this tank for quite some time. I really do enjoy it. It's a very good tier 9 medium tank. In my opinion, it's a bit slept on, a bit underrated. There's a lot of great things going for it. And generally, just a lot of fun to play. Although I know a lot of people probably don't even have one. Well, well yeah. <laughs> Almost 50% of the uh, the viewers so far in the poll don't have one. But uh, yeah, so let's jump into it. What's the 55A have going for it? Good DPM for tier 9, solid accuracy, good mobility, solid turret armor. That's about it. And you don't really need much else. Uh, I would say if you are familiar with how the T-54 Lightweight plays, the 55A falls into a pretty similar category in terms of its play style. If you're running Rammer Double Food, you can get your damage per minute all the way up to just about 3,160, which is very good for a tier 9. Very, very good for a tier 9 med having over 3,100 damage per minute. And uh, I think that's mostly because recently it has received DPM buffs as well as accuracy buffs to make it more competitive, which makes me happy. Um, yeah, so solid, solid everything. The heat pen, not very good. 270 heat is not going through much. That's actually barely enough. I think there's tier 10 things that have more standard AP pen than that. Um, well, maybe not quite. Actually, maybe when the TDS gets close. I'll have to check. But uh, not, not the highest pen. But it definitely compensates for it with its high DPM. And six degrees of gun depression, which is, uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. It, it's manageable. Let's just jump into some games, enjoy it, get some good gameplay action into the T55A. If you're considering this vehicle, uh, or if you're just curious about how it plays, then this is the place for you. And I will do my best to try and explain my thoughts on the tank and how I will be playing it today. Saw you and Fidu spamming Mad Games last week. Sherry is broken in that mode, bro. Oh, I mean, Uprising is the Sheridan mode. That and Gravitizing. Gravitizing and Uprising are the best Sheridan modes of the game. So, well, the Sheridan missile to be precise. Good morning from New Zealand. Good morning. Have you ever played the Swinder tier... Little part gets in the way. Tier 8 season... No, I haven't played like any of the season tanks, to be honest. I gotta be fair with you. All right, tier 10 matchup. Oh, double E100s, S to be M48, super bonk. Okay, this is not a very good lineup for me. If I'm top tier, it's goaded, but uh, when you're not top tier, something like this will be very, very painful. Um, it's just me and a TVP. We can't even really fit on this side. So you can see my allies aren't coming with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him to maybe, can I tell him to fall back? How do I do that? Oh my gosh, it's hard to do that on mobile. I guess I'll, um, Dude, uh, I'm trying to tell him to get out of there. He's going to get killed. He's all by himself. Oh, well, I mean, he's not paying attention to the minimap, obviously, or the lineup. So not the best scenario for me because the enemy team have a lot of great heavy tanks, like the two E100s and the Super Bonk, as well as very strong meds. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult fight, and I'm going to have to be very careful where I position my tank. And truly, I probably should play this game more like a light tank than anything else, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna start out by at least spotting up around this corner. And so far, oh, we do find ourselves a wild KPZ. So let's put a quick shell into him. The dispersion working quite well there. And yeah, you can see six degrees of gun depression. Barely enough for me to shoot that dude. But it's definitely not a lot. But we're able to hit another shell into his weak spot while he's backing up in the open. And my allies unfortunately missed an opportunity there. I'm looking back over towards our spawn. We have three meds pushing here, as well as a super bunkerer. 
And so this is going to be a bit of a problem here soon, I think. The Super Bunker is pushing up very aggressively. I put a shot towards him. And our K91 is about to get, well, he's, he's about to get a very unpleasant experience from behind. I'm going to see if I can cover him from back here to some extent. There might be something there. Can't spot it, unfortunately. There we go. And there are two of the enemy medium tanks, which, yeah, not too many shots on. So I have to make up my mind. Do I sit back here with a Yag and go into a crazy haul down fight? Or do I help my E100 to push the heavy tank side? And we are going to be four versus two on this end of the map. So I think there is only one actual logical conclusion for me here, which is going to be a gamble play. I'm about to make a gamble because I don't know what else to do in this scenario. That gamble is going to be pressuring these E100s here. So, we're going to start off by pressuring this E100, but actually I'm going to focus the one on lower hit points here, because he will be easier to kill faster. And so we're going to hope we can farm up this dude a little bit here, while also staying out of the line of sight of this E100 here as well, who is kind of just chasing me around. We can pick up a clear on this dude. You can see I definitely made the right rotations here, but I do have an STB1 being quite aggressive as well. Let's put a quick shot to this dude's side. Oh, what is with these side shots on the 100 just going to Narnia? Uh, but not the end of the world. That was the right rotation to make there. That was definitely the right rotation. Six degrees of gun depression being a little painful, but I do have a decent amount of allies providing me with cover fire now, so it should not be the complete end of the world for me. Although, I might... I just may have a kill shot on this patent if this STB stops blocking. Ah, low roll. But we did bring him down to a one shot. So that's the good news. And this STB can keep being a little a little haul down piggy if he wants. It's not going to go super well for him since I have a lot of crossfires here to cover me. So that's a W. And I just have to play support. Now, I think I definitely made the right rotations this game. If I had not made that rotation, I think it would have taken my team a lot longer to clear these two, two big old E100s out of the game. But they are fortunately not in the game. Let's put a quick catch on to this dude. And now I'm getting blocked by my ally. Thank you very much, Type. Do appreciate that. But we should be good now. And the accuracy on the 55A's gun performing quite excellent here. We have no problem patch sniping Mr. SDB1 here. He's about to die. And that's it. Nice. All right. I think that was definitely a right call. That rotation out instead of getting stuck into that fight there gave our team the ability to get a nice little W here, I think. Ah. <laughs> Not a lot of damage dealt, but to be fair, it wasn't really the most prime scenario ever either. Lots of heavies, haul down SDBs, you know, just um, when you have bad pen, those type of games suffer for your vehicle. So I did pretty average, but I still think I played that correctly. And I don't know how two side shots bounce off the 100s. There's like these weird little areas on the, on the side skirts where if you hit it right between the side skirt and where the drive wheels are behind it, and you hit the corner, it ricochets, and the shot just goes into nowhere, even though it's a flat side shot. Really annoying, it happens surprisingly often. If I should grind the T57 or the M6, yo. Good question. Actually, I was gonna do a comparison stream on those at some time. I have like 20 streams planned right now in my notes, <laughs> and that was one of the ones I came up with uh, the other day. I would say it depends. They're both really, in my opinion, they're both are really good. And Matchmaker just really is... <laughs> <laughs> really, really not on my side for these games. Another tier 10 matchup, but the enemy team have two tier 10 medium light tanks, and I am the only medium tank on my team. So, it's, there's no point in me going med side. Med side would just be Jover for me. I would get destroyed by the Vickers in the 140. And the IS-4 platoon with the 140, he may as well go that way. So, I'm going to go heavy side again. Not that I want to, but just like taking a quick peek at the lineups, I think it would be kind of silly for me to overextend into the med side. And, oh! Hit those! What a clean shot on the IS-4's lower plate. Okay, so that's force here. That's good news. Uh, they don't have a lot of heavies. Also good news. I'm, I don't want to... I don't want to poke this until the grill does. Because I want the grill to be the one to take the enemy team's attention. And it looks like Mr. Fashipu is just going to be chilling on this corner. So I'm going to use the... Oh! I was going to use the XM as cover. But you know what? Maybe I, maybe I won't. Alright, our IS-7 is getting... Um, He's having a good time over here with the 140 and Vicar. So I actually might move back because at the, at the time when I just took this position, I figured that my heavy tanks would probably just send heavy side, as is usually the case. But as you can see, we have a spawn sniping yo that can rotate back with me. And the IS-7 is creating a bit of a diversion in the middle of the map. I want to see if I'll be able to capitalize on that at all. There is a 268 coming up over here. So that's going to be a bit of a problem for me and the yo to deal with. There's also this Vickers here is being quite aggressive on me and damages my ammo rack with this first shot. Great, great news. 
but the yellow has started to <laughs> has started clipping the vicar's light gear so that's good news uh let me see if i can pull one more shot into this dude not quite able to hit it but the vicar's did get nuked and apparently the ice four is rotating back for me now which is um interesting play to say the least i'm gonna help our yo over here start pressuring the 268 hopefully there we go quick shot into this man's and let's watch out because the once that is7 dies it's just gonna be me and the yo covering our spawn so what i'm gonna do now put another shot to this 268 here i'm gonna wait for the 268 to hopefully be distracted the last thing i want to do is just take a shot from him so oh nice we actually managed to bait him that works better i was keeping an eye on his reload and i knew i had just a little bit of time to peek him there put another shot so good thing this yo was back here he provided excellent uh unintentional cover fire and that means we can now cover our team's flank here somewhat confidently we do have to watch out though there are quite a few crossfires that could be forming here with the enemy team if we are not careful but i think it will be okay for now we can start crossfiring them now as a matter of fact so here's the fosh put a quick shot into the fosh here i'm gonna start rotating back to our spawn for a bit of a crossfire on the fosh and is4 who are both being quite aggressive here to kill the fosh nice nice okay i think i played that out well uh, a bit of an uncertain battle there, thanks to, um, the lineup not being super optimal for my tank. But you can see the, man, the 55A's gun just really works so well. Oh, he just got bonked. Okay, that IS-4 got a little bit of a bonk by the Yeguru. Now I can work on the Vicar's Light, who is probably going to get killed by the Frail the moment he pokes that corner. But we'll see if I can spot up the Vickers. Not quite. Okay. So maybe he's not going to poke that. That's fine by me. There he is. Put a quick track shot onto him. Jebate him a little bit. Nice. The Vickers actually has less alpha damage than me and like the same reload. That tank is in such a sorry state. It, I think it has... Actually, no. It probably has a better reload. Probably like 3.3 DPM. I'll have to check. But uh, 300 alpha. <laughs> 300 alpha does not hit. Okay. Wild 140. He's about to poke up again. And so let's put a quick heat shell into him for the clear. Very nice. Four kills that game, probably about 3,200 damage. I wasn't really paying attention, but did the right thing there, right? Didn't overextend med side. That would have been my demise. But the moment I realized that I had some, okay, 35, a little bit of support that could go back and help me on med side, I was very happy to make that rotation to help clear out our rear. And so, not bad, not bad. I would love a tier eight, I would love a tier eight, uh, <laughs> a tier eight game. <laughs> Depends on the gun, but both yo guns are cracked both the yo guns are pretty good it's hard to say honestly i haven't really played the 57 or the yo a lot recently so i'm not really sure which one i would recommend at the moment i would say the yo is nice because you get to kind of choose the play style you want with the tank with the dpm accuracy gun or the two shot bomb gun if you want the alpha so that is the nice thing about the yo um the yo's mobility is a little better and i would say it's hull armor is probably a little bit better at least against standard rounds the fact you got a win with this matchmaker is a miracle to me. I, it is what it is. I, I, I played a couple warm-up games and, oh boy, those did not go as I was hoping they would. But hey, we got a W here. I am more of a fun, uh, of a fan of the fi other 5A. Oh, hi, 183. You don't have to drive into me. That's going to stop all my mobility. Really? Oh my gosh. What, what, where are the tier 8 Qs? Like every single game, it's been like five tier 10s on the, on each team. And not just any tier 10s, tier 10s that I can't even pen. Like Mouse. Like T22. You know, fun stuff like that. Just doing a bit of a spotting run here. And oh, what is that? A wild 183 has been spotted. Very nice, very nice. And let's see, they already have a T22 pushing through the corner here. I'll have to be careful not to get crossed right out by that 183. Although we might have some shots on the T22 here. Let's put a quick shot through his weak spot. And this T22 fortunately has massively overextended here. Let's load up a heat shell just in case. Unfortunately, eyes were kind of blacked me a little bit there. So I didn't have too much of a time to readjust my aim. But not the end of the world. Let's see. I do have to watch for that 183. If he pulls up through there, that could be very problematic. Fortunately, the 183 has nothing in terms of camo rating. And we do have a 140 that might actually go towards start clearing him out. So I'm going to see if I can take advantage of that. Okay. Ooh, there's the one. Really? I was, uh, Tunnel Vision didn't realize the Yag was just overextending for me there. That's crazy. Very nice Yag Panzer E100. Let's put a quick shot to him here and drop down. I guess I'll have to take the one versus one against the standard B here. And hopefully my allies don't let me get cooked by the standard B. Although I might get cooked by him actually. All right, all right, all right. We're we'll have to get to a side hug here. Side hug. Let's try and get up close and personal. 
Try and give him as little bit of a shot on my haul as possible, which worked out in my favor. And now we're in a pretty good spot. Okay. We cleared out the standard B. The Jaeger is a bit over extendo. The only problem is my teammates are not are still not in the best positioning. But on the other hand, our 140 is griefing that 183. Good playing by the 140 there. Dude is cooking. Nice. And this dude gets taken down as well. I'm going to see if I can start pressuring up for this Yag just ever so slightly here before he has time to rotate around or escape. I should be unspotted for the time being. There we go. Let's put a quick track shot towards him and once again hitting that weird bit of armor on the Yag Panzer. So no track shots for me. I'm not going to overextend here because the grill, uh, not the grill, the whole re could be right around the corner. And I don't feel like dying, so I'm going to take it easy. Let me see where I can rotate around to deal more damage, because this is probably not going to cut it. The Yag's going to be watching that corner, probably supported by a Ho-Ri. There's the Ho-Ri. And our 62A just realized what happens when you poke a Ho-Ri and Yag. <laughs> but he's not feeling too good. Okay. Ah, they still have a T22 in corner, though. That could be still a bit of a problem here. This mouse is just waiting for us. See if I can set myself up to shoot the T22 if he overextends even slightly. Uh, IS4. IS4 is great at getting in my way. Whoa, okay, the Jagdpanzer just fired, and that's the whole re-pushing in. Let's pop. 550! Mouse with the mega high roll! Oh my gosh! I didn't mind taking a shot from the mouse there because I could have killed the I brought the Hori down to a one-shot. We'll win! Uh, the mouse getting blessed RNG on that with a 550 roll with a 460 alpha gun, but he rolled 90 alpha high, but we should still win this. Just hit this Yag. Nice. All right, our 140's healthy enough. This 140 had a good game. Well played to the 140. He, uh, cleared the 183 and had some fun stuff there. What's up, Jet? <laughs> if Anderson didn't catch your M60 stream, is the tank worth it? How does it compare to the Patton? Oh, they're both very good. I mean, you can't go wrong with either the M60 or the Patton. Oh, this 140 is having a great time. 140 should probably flank to his left, though, so he can crossfire with the 62. Then it's problem solved. Yeah. GG. Well played. Um, who's better? Object 752 or K91? Hard to say. I would probably... I would think the 752 is still a little bit more broken just because of its high alpha and high heat pen. And, um, it's overall just a super punchy tier 9. Okay. Did okay. Did okay. Not the highest. Thanks, mouse. Ruined my day. I was gonna damage from that mouse late game, but nah, buddy, buddy just had to roll high on me. <laughs> Colin Wiggers <Hugo's> L. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't like tier 9 too much. <laughs> Rarely fight against tier 8. Really? I find that tier 9 usually fights against tier 8 quite frequently, but apparently, 20 minutes into the stream, I have not had a single tier 8 matchup. That's that's just great. <laughs> 263 good. I haven't played it in a long time, but last I remember 263 was still pretty dog water. Uh was... <laughs> tier 9 compared uh compared is better. Compared is better. But tier of uh, tier for tier is a tier 9 better? I would say there's a chance. Okay, it's me, Leo, and Ashkoda versus M60, Batchat, T62A. The enemy team has three tier 10 medium lights my team has one and we still have fewer medium lights in the total like holy f okay, what's the point in sitting here dude what's the point that's such a waste you won't be able to spot anything coming in which is one of the most important early game things you can do from this side is spotting up their team as they push in on you like, my goodness but he really just sat in narnia all right let's put a quick track shot to the 62a here good stuff Nice, give me that assistance damage there, boys. Put another shot into the 62. Batch had already taken out. You know what? My teammates are kind of cooking here. Let's put track shot into this dude, maybe. Not quite. Here's where that lovely 55A DPM is really nice. We put another shot into the M60. Already bring him down to 700 hit points here. And we should have some pretty easy hat shots. Oh, okay. Well, that shot went a little bit more to the left than I was anticipating. But we should still have some really good shots over here on this M60, who I want to bring to a one shot and track if possible. Good stuff. And we still have a squad in the corner. My team actually did pretty okay over here. Wasn't expecting them to do quite this this good. Let's put a quick shot into the T30 while we're at it. And this is where the 55A just feels excellente. Is when it's in a position where it can really utilize its DPM. And its turret armor. So I'm thinking we can pressure this Conway soon. The 62A is kind of in Narnia right now. So I think the M60 is running away as well. Conway is pretty low in the hit point pool. Let's load up a high explosive shell for him. Good stuff. 
T30 hits that, but it's fine. He has nowhere else to run, so let's put a quick shot on him here. T30 also has a long reload, so I have enough time to sit here and shoot him one more time. There we go. Nice. One shot, T30. Let's go. Well, almost. If I don't low roll him, he's a one shot. I could still low roll him. Where's my support at? I really don't want to take another six, 700 damage from this dude, so... Woo! Oh, he hits those! Wow, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh! You rat, Waffle! You rat! Was it worth it? For one shot? <laughs> just throw away all of your HP. It's okay. We get the dub. That was kind of just already a W game. There wasn't too much more farm left anyways, except for maybe the E100. I would have gotten one or two shots into him. Which would have put me at 3.3, but I'll take it. <clears throat> all right. Well, I didn't expect Medside to go that well. Unfortunately, the batch out overextended right off the bat, so we were able to clear him out pretty quickly. Considering these games are almost completely tier 10, and we're, I think I'm pretty consistently doing, you know, between top three and two, that's pretty okay for a tier 9 med, especially uh, a tier 9 med that has no penetration. And wow, another game with five tier 10s on each side. Come on, matchmaker. Let me bully some tier 8s like, at least a little bit for fun. <laughs> I don't want to be playing tier 10 constantly. I mean, it's okay. If I can perform well in this tank in tier 10 battles, that will just um, sell what I'm saying about the tank actually being very, very quite good. Alrighty. Put a quick shot into this dude. We're going to take the safe backing. That's why I, I hug this ridge and I pull back safely. Definitely would recommend doing that if you are going to be playing that early spotting position. Don't sit on the outside ridge because things like these big old IS-4s here... Wow, they're, they're really just, they're really just chilling there. Honestly, I respect it. Oh, I can't even spot the IS-4. That's crazy. How am I meds doing? They're doing okay. So I can't even, did I pet the IS-4 blind? Ain't no way, man. The IS-4's armor profile has fallen off. Okay, let's see. So we still have a Prague here. The Prague is maybe thinking of pushing up. He is definitely pushing up. Uh, you can probably help my teammates now in corner. Because we know where the E4 is. It's just the 62 way, the prog and stuff like that over on this side. Oh, excuse me, buddy. Let me see if I can spot up the prog here. Okay, so the prog's in the corner too. So that's even better news for me. Because that means I can start setting myself up in a hold down position to start dealing with this prog here. So spot the adrenaline. And hopefully together with the support of mine allies, we can start clearing these tanks pretty quickly here. I'm just going to focus the prog because, you know, nasty little autoloader there. There we go. 62A is on reload for a few more seconds. Nice little clear on this dude. And 62A might just push up for me, or I don't know. He's got to definitely try and shoot me at least once. <laughs> one, two, one, B. You're going the wrong way, sir. Wrong way. If I take a shot from this dude, thank you. I was like, if I take a shot from this dude, I'm going to be molded. Okay. E50 is turning around. Shooting into Narnia. I'm not really sure what this man's just doing. That's, um, that's really cute. Oh, bless his poor, poor soul. Oh, he even ricocheted off me. Thank you. All right. Well, wow. We cleared Medside out pretty good, and the whole enemy team is gone now. I take it. All right. Let's see. Ooh, is that a, is that a, is that a Object 752's rear, I see? Hmm, it sure is. Oof, nice little max roll there. He's probably going to pull forward, so really no point. Oh, maybe one more shot. Lovely. I'm going to go to all the E4 for extra damage. Nice. Not a bad game. Our TDs look like they made great, great work over the enemy team's heavy side flank. And uh, this this E4 is so overextended. He's probably going to die before I even get to him. Because the 160 TP are going to be like, don't mind if I do. I'm waiting for the loose like ball 1300 HP in a few seconds right now. Ooh, nice. One more shot. Maybe two. Maybe two. Come on, come on. Let me let me get let me get that 3.7k damage in. Heck yeah, man. 3.8. Almost 3.9. I'll take it. One more. Hey, yo. Let's go. 4k. P6. Oh, wait. Ram kill. Yes! <laughs> we even got the Kamikaze medal. Let's go. <laughs> Everything goes as planned. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to stay awake right now. Oh my. Jed, did you pull an all-nighter or something? Well, that's an ace tanker. We got my favorite, the Kamikaze medal. Let's go. You can't get those in tier 10, so shout out to our tier 9s. Oh, oh no. HV special gave me a thumbs down. Which one was a... Oh, it buddy, I didn't even shoot at you once. I didn't even shoot you once. Let me give you, uh, let, let me give you the, um, the fire emoji because your damage is pretty fire, dude. Okay. 
By the way, Fatness is just me or the 140 is really accurate now. It feels awfully close to Leopard 1, at least to me. Oh, no, the 140 is extremely accurate because Wargaming removed all of its armor and they basically put all of its characteristics in mobility, DPM, and accuracy. So it's like a Leo 1 with 6 degrees of gun depression, basically. Oh, my gosh, Jen. How? How? <laughs> hey, puppy. Hi. Oh, you can see some Bobby. Hello. Who's a good kitty? All right. Uh, tier, tier 10 again. Okay, you know what? I've just accepted. I will just be happy if at some point during this stream, I get a tier 8 matchup. Because we're almost 30 minutes in, and so far it's been nothing but tier 10 games. But hey, I've been doing okay even for tier 10 battles, which, yeah, 55A is good. You give it like an extra 200 DPM, maybe some better penetration, it's practically a tier 10 med, so. Alright, quick shot towards the patent there. Scoped out shooting because we built different like that. Okay, okay. Let's see, anyone else crossing over? This patent is not having a good day. He's already been nuked for almost a, well, about a fourth of his, over a fourth of his HP. Maybe even close to half. I haven't checked. No, he would have had to lose 800 for it to be half. One more shot and he'll be down half hit points almost. Let's see. Ooh, there's the boss shot to yawn. We'll have to aim for the turret there. There we go. We've already done 600 damage. Love to see it. Apparently this tank has a really good camo rating. Spot a shot to the patent's tracks as well while we're at it. Very nice. Making him a one-shot enemy. Bashati on is YOLOing in. Okay, overled that shot slightly. Silly me. And oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Let's focus the E50 first, because you know how it is. E50 is a little easier to pen, so... More free damage for me. There we go. And the enemy team are definitely not looking too hot right now, to be honest. Oof. Man, I love this gun! This gun really is quite good. I enjoy it a lot. Anyways, they're down two tier tens already. That was fast. Their their meds like mega overextended there. And so I'm just gonna rotate around, wait for the 752 to start dumping his mag. Uh or hopefully dump his mag. And see what I can do from there. Alright, quick shot to his large plate. Nice. We're at 2k damage already. I take it. I take it. Maybe one more shot. Lovely. Yeah, man, the 55A just feels so nice. I, I would definitely. <sighs> Thank you, dude. I would definitely say it reminds me a lot of a T54 lightweight slash, like, old school 62A. He's already dead. He's already dead. Okay, we go chase the Kron instead, because uh, this dude is a goner. He is an absolute goner. Where are you at, Kronwagen? I need my 3k damage at least. Where, where are you at, buddy? Oh, heck yeah, dude. He's sitting in Nernia. That means I can just YOLO him and hopefully get some free... You're not supposed to poke them, dude. Okay, I don't think we're getting our 3k. 2.9 maybe? That's about it. <laughs> oh, not even 2.9 because I low rolled. And now, 270. What are you doing, Bobby? What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Bobby, you're messing up my camera. Bobby, what are you doing? <laughs> Chalked. RIP, dude. All right. Well, 2.8, which is probably still close to top on the team. Ray 100 did pretty good there. Nice. Hi, Fanis. Hey, homie. How's it going? T55A is an East German tank. Yeah, I know. I, I'm saying, man, they need to give it PBR and, like, they need to make it look like an actual 55A. Because right now, it looks like a T54 lightweight in terms of its its makeup. I hope when they give it PBR one day, they make it look $10 a lot better. From Tony's inside. Hey, Fanis. Hey, good to see you. Fatness. Tony, thank good you very much you. for the $10 donation. Great to have you here today. Appreciate the support. Hope you're doing well. Steamrolls everywhere. Ah, yes, of course, because why not? Thunder is shaking my house. Oof, that's a rip. Tell it to unshake. Scoped out shooting. <laughs> Scoped out shooting for the NPCs of the game. Uh, Fennis, I was literally searching for a T55 video one hour ago. Hey, let's go. Well, what's timing, you know? I think it's in store right now, but it's like a ridiculous price. They're like, I, I think it's like 24 bucks or something. I'll have to see. Maybe there's a cheaper bundle, but I'm pretty sure you can get the 55A for very cheap in terms of gold usually. So if you're really interested in getting a tank, I would maybe consider... Uh, holding out until you can get it for a better price. I think it's, like, expensive because it's, like, in a bundle with a bunch of crates and stuff right now, which I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Let's see. Do they have a one two, one It's me and a standard B and a T92E1. I might be making a mistake here. I'm going to my typical aggressive spotting position, but yeah, if, if any of them come this way, I'm dipping. That's not what I wanted to see. Wait, actually, we can capitalize on this. This dude is stuck in the open. He's tracked, too. Oh, heck yeah. That's what we're talking about. That is what we're talking about. Track shot again. Let's go, dude. The, 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 the 55A's accuracy truly is special. It really is. I, I feel for... 
for a tier 9 with this decent DPM and alpha damage, it just does not disappoint me at all. I mean, there'll of course be shots that go to Narnia, but like... Already, as you can see from the start of this game, we were able to cook up pretty well here. And I'm going to spot up this dude. This is why I like this early spot position, by the way. Because you can totally catch players out that aren't expecting you to spot them up that early. <laughs> that early. I was like, what is that man's crossing? And uh, that's why we were able to basically get that one-to-one -one stuck in the open. Especially with the perma tracks. Dude was probably trying to save his repair kit. And that definitely did not go well for him. Alright, alright, alright. And the Fosh is now basically a goner. He is now a goner. So I'm thinking, wow, this is already done. This game is already done. Our E3 cooked. Well played to our E3. Dude was just farming them up in the open here. Standard B also staying alive pretty good there. I'm going to see if I can push on the grill. Maybe I can get some HE shells into him or something. Because he probably hasn't ran too far from here. Is my guess. I'm sure he's already started dipping. But I can't, I can't expect him to be that far away. All right. Nice shot into the E6 there. Oh my, the grill actually made it really far away. I respect it. I respect it. Let's see if this grill is he -able. Does he have a spall or not? No spall. No spall, and these things get, I believe, 420 or 440 HE alpha. So they hit hard. You catch something out that can be HE. HE farmed, definitely capitalize on it on a tank like the 55A because it has such high HE alpha. Um, A6 is basically a goner. So I guess I'll go back for the TI2 E1. Or I'll just drive through the mid and see which one pokes on me first. Because this is, this TI2 is probably dead to the VK90 practically. You know what? He's the last one remaining. <laughs> no! Okay. Well, I didn't farm a whole lot. I have very one-sided battle. Ooh, close game. But uh, the, the early spotting position worked. I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing that a lot of times. Especially because we were down to like... Um, we were down in terms of higher tier 10 meds and they had mobile heavies. They ver like very easily their team could have just full sent that side with everyone. And that could have been the end of me very quickly. So it's a risky spotting position. I was kind of just going there out of habit. I wasn't really paying attention. So I just wanted to call that out. Like sometimes you're not going to get lucky when you go to that spot. Like I did that game. Sometimes uh, you'll just get pushed on by like four or five tanks and die instantly. So it's def definitely watch out for the lineups and try and figure out what the enemy team's gonna do ahead of time before you go there um and they said they make the turbo games disappear this is lied because they're <laughs> i'm not gonna finish reading that <laughs> still waiting for bobby to jump on faz's head in the middle of a game she has not jumped on my head yet she has considered it but she has not Okay, but the game had just started. The bro took a million seconds to use his multi-repair. Uh, maybe he thought no one else was going to be shooting at him, or he underestimated the reload on the 55 A's DPM. 120, not 121. Eh, wait, no 120. What's 120? <laughs> Good afternoon, HRF. Thanks, Ray. Good afternoon. A lot of spell is... Waffen spall list Laufenträgers lately. It's like they... It's low-key like they forget they have spall. Okay, E50M... Nightmare tank. Do not try and 1v1 an E50M and a 55A. You want to know why? Here, let me, let me just give you a little a little sneak peek why. Look at that armor profile. That's 270 heat. I cannot do anything to him. 270 heat will not be able to do a thing to him. Fortunately, the enemy team does not appear to be sending most of their forces this way. The unfortunate part is I still don't have any support. So... We'll have to see how things roll from here. Let me see. Maybe we can get a hatch on this dude. Not quite. There's the K91 also approaching. Do I have any kind of support here? In theory, I do. But all it takes is this 50M getting a little bit aggressive and deciding he wants to YOLO me and it's Jover. Fortunately, I have a Kron and VK72 pushing in with me here soon. So, if this K91 gets a little over aggressive here, we can rotate out for him. Oh, but he just got full HP. Oh my gosh, I was too busy looking at the dude getting racked to even pay attention to the fact that this... This K91 is still trying to shoot at me. Okay, that's that's, that's really cool, buddy. That's that, that's fascinating. I would have thought our VK and Kron would be a little bit more supportive right now. Alright, I think this dude just fired. Just put him a shot into him. I'll just hold this corner here. I still have cover fire from the Sheridan. E50M having fired just one more time. Let's track him again. Nice 388. Nice little high roll there. And, yeah, even in this scenario, we're able to do pretty good work to this side here. Good stuff. Oh, watch out for that 183. He is thinking about shooting at me in a moment here, if I'm not careful. Tracking him is not too bad. Make him wait, waste a repair kit ahead of time. And let's see. My allies are definitely going to push this K91, so... Is this K91 really going to turn back to try and shoot at me? That's crazy. That's crazy. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's he's not just turning back to shoot at me, but he's actually trying to drive over to shoot at me. That's some next level tunnel, my mans. That's some next level tunnel action, my dude. And he's dead. That's crazy. Okay, so our spawn is in the open. We're gonna have to watch out for that. I felt 2k damage already, so... Fortunately, most of my team rotated back this way. Our 4005 and E75 did the big silly and, and basically got themselves killed. Um... I don't want to be over aggressive over here. I, I know I'm spinning in circles. I'm trying to decide if I want to push up into our spawn and spot it or not. Depends on how aggressive the Yo and uh, VK90 are being in our spawn. If they're being really aggressive, I don't want to risk it. Oh, this one is going to give me a side shot. So let's take a huge shot into him there. Nice. Did I get spotted for that? No. Good stuff. All right. I wonder where these other dudes are at. Once they're spotted, I'll make a play. Right now, I'm going to take it easy. Because I do not want to get over... Okay, maybe I can spot this bush here. Okay, so it seems like maybe they have not fully extended into our spawn yet. Uh-huh. Oh, there's the yo at least. Okay, nice little max roll into the yo there. Lovely stuff. That puts me at 2,600 damage dealt so far. And Mr. Yo gonna give me another side shot maybe. And wow, okay, that one ricochets. I see how it... I see... I see how it be. I see how it be. Nicely aimed shot, unfortunately, just did, did not hit his hatch there. There we go. Next one hits his hatch. Man, I do not have a lot of heat shells in this tank, man. Yes, please shoot me one more time. Oh, he moved forward. I was expecting to move back, so I ranged back just a little bit. He has one more shell in the mag, so I'm probably just going to counter push him soon. Uh, both him and the 100 are pretty in the open here, so let's put a quick shot to this man's here. We can pick up a clear on the yo and then deal with the 100 in a moment. Nice. The 100 is... Oh, he baited the 183, but oh, more damage for me. More damage for me. Very nice indeed. Let's go. The Kron should hopefully have the clear here. I think the Kron should have the clear in a moment's time. Uh, engine deck shot? Not quite. I'm gonna go for the VK. Because, uh... He is easier for me to farm right now and that E100 is dead anyway, so... Quick shot to the VK here. Nice. 4,300 damage dealt. Nice and chill. We didn't... We managed to get that late game farm in, which is the plan. What's up, Button? Snooze Goblin? <laughs> How's the gameplay? Oh, oh no. What button? Dude, I'm cooked, but like, you don't understand. <laughs> Y'all just have an NPC conversation in the background. Did I make a lot of credits that game? I made 100,000 because I got an ace badge. Let's go. Yeah, cooking up. Cooking up. Uh, you just need more shell, more heat shells. Loki might need more heat shells. 270 heat's not cutting it, man. 69 likes right now. Oof. <laughs> what a perfect, like, number. But you know what's more perfect? 100 plus. Um, just buy Tech Tree TVD4, better tank with more DPM, plus free. Is the 54 better? That's debatable. I don't know. I'll have to check on that. Because when I've played both the 55A and 54 in the past, I've always preferred the 55A. I've always preferred its kind of mobility profile and especially its gun. Uh, but I'll have to check on that. Because I haven't played the 54 in like a year, probably. With all these tier 10 battles. <laughs> is it is it literally just going to be me playing till I get tier 8? Because like, we're, we're almost 40 minutes in. <laughs> we're almost 40 minutes in. And I have not had a single top tier battle. That's crazy. Maybe I need to like, maybe I need to put Supremacy on or something. Because I do, I do believe I have it turned off right now. Maybe that'll increase my chances of getting a tier 8 battle. Because yeah. Uh, Right now, we ain't getting no tier 8s, man. We, 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 we've been struggling against tier 10s, which is fine, but usually tier 9 gets tier 8 fairly frequently. At least in the past, I have. All right, let's see if we can get any early shots on these dudes. There we go. Quick shell into this T92E1 here. Yeah, love to see it. Oop, baiting the 4202 just a bit. And oh my gosh. Was not expecting the Leo to be so aggressive up on the entrance of the hill here. Was also not expecting none of my allies to provide cover fire. That's... We got Encounter Cap Andes over here. We have... Encounter Cap Andes, three TDs, and our other med already died on his way up the hill. What the heck? Team, you cannot be serious right now. Letting this dude poke up all the way like this. That's crazy. He's quite literally all the way into our spawn. No way, man. This team is this team is something special. Oh, of course. Yep. Yep. Now the 4 is just going to make some rat pokes. I love this map, especially when my allies have no clue what they're doing. 
I'm gonna just like sit back here. There we go, boys. Now it's time to start cooking. This 422 keeps trying to poke me. He'll get nuked for it eventually. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that E6 is thinking of dropping down. Oh, 422 got killed for it. LOL, what a bunch of sillies. They all overextended to try and tunnel me and now they're dead. So at least our TDs are being useful later. I mean, they weren't very useful right off the bat, but they were useful late game. That's what mattered. I love mines. I love mines in the trash spawn too. And uh, it looks like our mouse already died YOLOing into the enemy spawn. Whoever saw that coming? Whoever saw that coming? YOLOing into a three-way crossfire and enemy spawn resulted in your tank's demise? No way. Okay, at least our E5's back on the hill. I think we can win this. Fortunately, all of their meds messed up and all got themselves killed, but this is not ideal for damage farm, that's for sure. Oh, I'm glad I did not sit in the open too much longer, like I was originally going to pull through here. But I was worried about a grill, which is why I wanted to flank back. Actually, I was more worried about the Minotauro, because he hadn't been spotted. And we do know where the 4005 is, at least now. Okay, let's see if the 62 pulls up just a wee bit more. Thank you, laddie. We appreciate the free damages into your tank. Although, I'm going to have to watch out for the grill, because the grill could just pull back and shoot me at a moment's, dis at a moment's notice. E5 already got himself nuked for most of his hit points. The E3 finally pushing up to support me here. I should be safe. He might be able to hit my left hatch though if I'm not careful. I'm gonna just do little micro movements. Whoa, Minotaur got wrecked. Okay. He must've been the one on the flank then this whole time. There's the 4005. Let's put a quick shot onto him before he has time to clear our E3 out here. All right, Minerazzo. I can't even, oh, I can overmatch him. Let's go. And I didn't low roll it too. Double W's. Oh my gosh, I can't even hatch pen a 60 TP on flat. That's... Oh my gosh, teammates. What? Why is my tank stuck on a silly rock? Are you guys just gonna let this girl sit here for free now? Anyways, this girl can't do much about... Maybe he can. What is this girl doing? Okay, this girl is a silly... Is a silly... Is a silly man here. I keep my turret pointed this way. I need to wait for this grill to get shot at or shot at, and then I can see if I can back down from here. Nice, grill's getting farmed. That's W. 60 TP still looking for shots on my hatch here. He might be able to clear me, to be honest, but I'm not careful. Team. Oh, it's Jover. Oh, we got the ricochet and the grill fired. Let's go. W, 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 W. I heard the grill shoot behind me, so we should have a clear on him. Let's go! I'm built different. Okay. 2k damage. The sweatiest 2k damage ever. But uh, I managed to bait the 60 TP to shoot my side there. Uh, yeah, I can see the ricochet mark on the hall. Holy. What a game. What a unpleasant game. Uh, I think the 405 might go for the cap reset. So maybe I'll go help out our dude over here. I'll spot at the encounter cap in case the 405 yellow's in. Or 60 TP actually might go for the reset, come to think of it. He will, right? Where's the 405 at? Okay, oh, was the 405 still in their spawn? 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Well, we capped out! 2.5k damage and a cap win. Mind everyone's favorite map. Sick game. I know, Jen, right? <laughs> Absolutely insane. I did okay. I mean, that, that's that's roughly how you have to play hill defense, especially in a scenario like that. Um, I guess we five did pretty okay in the end. <laughs> what a battle. Okay, what a battle. Let's put some privacy on as well. Just just so I can maybe get to great battles here and there. All right. <laughs> yeah, ISA, try getting the Conqueror. You'll fall in love. Conqueror is goaded right now. Such a good tank. Only the 140 gun has 330 alpha. T60 gun is still. Th um. Correction, crying NS NSX. The 140's alpha is 310. The T62A's alpha is 330. <laughs> The the 330 alpha is the 62A, the 300 flat, not not even 310, just 300. Oh, it worked! Uh, okay, well, it's not supremacy, but we're top tier. Finally, 45 minutes into the stream. And who knows how many games, I finally got a tier 8 battle. I feel so excited. It is time to start bullying some tier 8s. Let's go. This is what I am here for. I was not here to be sweating tier 10 battles every single day of the week. Okay. That one's gonna cross through here soon, I think. I saw a tree fall down. 
Ooh, well, hello, hello, hello. Oh, and double hello. Bop. <laughs> Get bopped. Get bopped. Boppity bopped. All right, we have a wild TL7120, and he is straight up yoloing. Cause yeah, that's that's what good players do, right? That's exactly what good players do. They they yolo their heavy tanks into the open, so they can get crossfired out by my by my teammates. Look at this tunnel. Look at this tunnel. Like, even the ISC 130 is doing the exact same thing. That's crazy. All right, let's get nice and hold down here. Yo, that's some that's some crazy tunnel here, guys. That's crazy. You just you just threw like two tanks into into a crossfire and paid for it with your tanks. Okay, that's that's insane, dude. You're dead too. Wow. I'm uh, I'm impressed. That was a very impressive coordinated push by 77 Lego <laughs> and his IC130 companion. All right. On the plus side, we are now doing okay. Although this TI2 maybe could use some farming, so ooh, shell velocity got me there, didn't it? All right, if I can pick up a kill here, that'd actually be very beneficial for me. I drove forward by accident. I was not trying to drive forward that much. That was very silly of me. Also, we are getting pushed on this side, so I need to pull up through the mid now before I get toasted by WZ120 and whatever else is pulling up from behind. Excuse me, dude. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, you silly, silly man, you. All right, this bulldog is probably gonna poke me again here. Waiting for it, maybe not. Thought he would. What I'm actually gonna do is help out our bulldog here against the STA-1 and WZ-120. Let's pick up a clear on this dude, at least. Nice, W. Unfortunately, WZ-120 does have very high DPM and a very high armor profile. So this is, this is not gonna be so good for your boy here. On the plus side, I can make him a one shot here and I should out reload him at least. Nice. On the negative side, I am very much dead to this T92 here. Unless I can get a bait. Nope. So our our elephant did zero damage to the E2. Wow, my team was crazy, dude. I don't know how they all died. I literally received like two tank push and cleared both of them out, or helped clear both of them out. Um Apparently both of our okay, now that makes sense. Both of our TDs doing bottom damage. Crazy dude. Oh well. 3,704 kills. I did my part well enough there. I mean we literally cleared their only tier 9 heavy tank out instantly. And we cleared out one of their TDs. How did we lose that? I was literally baiting baiting them all in. The Nerf the T-54 armor slightly, although I don't know how much they did to the hall. I think it was just the lower plate, which is fine. If they if they, if they they buff the upper plate, it's cool. Purple, we need to watch HRF to play T-54. Back-to-back <laughs> uh, -back streams, we are eating good lads, indeed. Uh, back to tier 10. Apparently, my tier 10 teams are better, so maybe we'll win this time. Although, they have a T-100 LT and a 121B. 121B, very good. I look forward to streaming that tank again soon. It's a fantastic vehicle right now. Uh, I, I've low-key kind of been sleeping on it a lot lately, and I, I didn't realize just how much the 121B is all around just a great tier 10 med. So, we'll cover that one once I get an opportunity to. So, no one's spotted so far. Just me and a Sheridan versus T-100 and a 121B. If I was in a tier 10, I'd be a little bit more aggressive here. The only problem is, is we don't have any tier 10 TDs covering us. So I'm a little concerned about overextending here. Okay, the 1 to 1 B is in Narnia. That's the good news. Oops, excuse me, buddy. So 1 to 1 B is in Narnia. And he's very much in Narnia, actually. He's not even slightly in Narnia. Dude is in a full on, he's full on gone through the wardrobe, man. Does he not have any shots on this man's here? I'm being such an idiot. This is such a silly position to back up to for one shot. Because if I get spotted, boom, TDs. Uh, Sheridan. Why are you leaving, buddy? We can we can pressure this side. I hope you know that. Oh, please don't run away, Sheridan. Okay, the Yag's not there. The grill could still be covering this side, but at least the Yag's not here. But that's the good news. Okay, found the grill. W, grill spotted, and let's see, spall. No spall. Um, Sheridan. 
Hey, buddy. You know, have you ever heard about providing support for your allies, my dude? Oof. Oof. Get gamed on, T100. Get gamed on. Sheridan, thank you for finally showing up, albeit a little late, but I do appreciate late. Better late than never. All right. Put a quick shot into this man's here as well. It's the grill still pushing around the corner. Ram him, T100 LT. Alrighty. Hello, T100 LT. I'm gonna give you a little love tap here just to bring your HP down a bit. Pick up a clear on this man's. Thank you. Target prioritization goes insane here. All right. Okay. Well, I guess that game's over. <laughs> it took uh, the Sheridan a while to rotate back. I'm like, dude, once the Yag was spotted, we knew there was only two tanks back there. We could take it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some extra damage. Oh, no. I'm not getting any damage this game, man. This is a low damage game. Thank heavens the grill had no spawn, though. I did manage to get like 800 damage off on that dude. So that's a W. All right. One, one more shot. Please. Please stop blocking me. Holy. Oh, my. 2.4! Close game. <laughs> uh, good morning, Fanny's from the Philippines. Hello, hello. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, dude, our Yag cooked. And uh, I figured to be actually didn't really do much more than me. So he didn't cook. Because I didn't cook that game. The 50B definitely didn't cook. But the Yag did. The Yag had a good game. If I ask, you should play um, some games in the 54 for good measures. The gun at least, uh, at least the 140, which is actually what I was talking about now, has 330 alpha and 3k DPM with a, with a, oh, with three. Oh, you're talking about the gun that leads to the 140. I, I got confused because I wasn't paying attention to the whole chat. I just saw you say the 140 gun has 330 alpha and the 62A gun has 310. I'm like, ah, I'm like, no, that's not the case. Yeah. I forgot that the 140, uh, the, the DL, no, is it DL9? No, 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 no. It's the DL10 or DL9. I'm trying to remember the name of the 54 gun. Whatever it was, it was the gun that didn't have the muzzle break half, like three quarters down the barrel. That one always had, back in the day, that one always had higher pen, but like worse DPM and worse accuracy. Uh, and then you had the other version, which had higher DPM, high accuracy, but lower pen. I'll have to see how that's changed though, since the 54 has been upgraded. Might play a game or so in it towards the end of the stream. Ooh wee. I love having me my, my 300, my 270 heat pen. Loki might be worth running calibrated on this tank sometimes. So what is my team doing? Okay, we got some support, not a ton, some. Hi, hey, Bobby. How's it going? The wild Bobinifer Source Rex is being very aggressive down here. We are top tier for once. Let's go. Um, okay, Bobby, I know you want on my lap. Be my guest. Reset. <laughs> Reset before he can capture B. Let's go. We we are we are we're doing a little trolling here. Oh, never mind. Not not too much trolling. Not enough trolling, obviously. Anyhow, Ashkoda oh, is getting absolutely <laughs> just violated over on this side so i'm gonna see if i can try and support him a little bit over on this end of the map here okay go oh, bobbers you silly kitty oh hello okay quick shot to the brog lovely stuff Ooh, that a mill why 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 hello mr emil let me put a quick shot to you sir thank you very much do you appreciate that give me some more damage give me give me give me up oh, ice you Ooh. Hmm, maybe heat rounds? Ah, it hit. It just didn't bend. I want to be careful y'all away to the side because I do have some good crossfires here, at least. Well, that's the good news. Okay, quick shot to this man's. Lovely. He's a two shot, so I'll just casually take the brawl here. Do a little bit of side scrape into action here. Show him who's boss. Same with you, Prague. Yeah, get side scraped on, boys. Get side scraped on. Track shot. Okay, so that's a Yag Tiger yellowing into me. That's what I call a not very pogger situation. On the other hand, we do have a free clear on this dude here. Oh, okay. Not quite. I have to hit my shots first. Silly me. But it is now or never, boys. It is now or never. Quick clear on this man. Ram kill, please. Wow, that was a low roll and a half. That was a low roll and a half. The Yag Tiger is just sending it through here. Managing to pick up a clear on one of my allies, unfortunately. And I don't have any good crossfires from back here, huh? I can't even spot them, I think, from back here. That's the hard part. Ooh, okay, motion. Okay, motion. I see how it is. Okay, buddy. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. 
Easy clear. Track shot. Nice. Track shot. Nice. Now we're cooking. Track shot. Lovely. That motion is probably going to die, but it's okay. I just have to win this. All right, so we played that well. I was waiting for the clear on the mill. For me, that was more valuable. Let's see if you can capture D at least. That'd be a W, but not quite. Okay, now we have an E75 to deal with, which I should be able to take care of, no problem. This is why I like Rammer on the 55A, by the way. That there is a perfect example of when Rammer is just excellent to have on a higher DPM med. And uh, the C75 is actually throwing. I thought he was going to kill the Moitian, but it looks like the Moitian's face-hugging him, and he doesn't know how to handle it, so that's W. All right, another shot here. Oh no, dude, don't don't look at me. Oh my gosh, the C75 just failed. 250! No, let me reload and get the kill. It's my kill. Mine. <laughs> Five kills. Okay. I'll take it. Cooking. Yes, yes, we have whipped out the walk for this fine five-course meal over here. Um Nice, okay. Well, only 4k damage, but it was an ace, and I think I, I played that correctly. I got a little trolled there with uh, some low rolls on the kill shots, but hey, it doesn't matter in the end. Did all right, all things considered. I, lo I just love the 55 hit. I think it's just an all-round, just a really good good tier 9 medium tank. And if you do have one sitting in your garage and you haven't, like, given it a try, I definitely would recommend, um, you know, playing a few games in it. You might find you really enjoy its playstyle. Uh, through the power of Bobby, Fantas will clutch this game. Yes! <laughs> Don't want the spam chat, so I'll only ask once more. What does the name mean for those who don't know? Oh, for those who don't know. Okay, you want to know what my name means? My name was just a nickname I'd rather gave to my cat. That's it. He was a very chubby kitty, but also extremely sophisticated in his behavior. And he also, like, had a tuxedo pattern on his fur. So he looked like he was like well dressed and acted super proper and then he was super fat and thus he got that nickname and uh, eventually I just changed my in-game name to that because I thought it would be funny and here we are. There you go. There's the uber exciting story about the HRF username. <gasps> what is Android doing? What? What the? What the heck brother? Nah, that's some crazy stuff there. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to my favorite little spot. You can create artificial gun depression on this corner here. Definitely utilize it while you can. We're gonna aim for some track shots here. That way, if this talented player wants to YOLO me, he can. I love track shots, man. This is why track shots are good. And this dude probably would've gone away for... We're pretty much free here, but the track shots said, No, you will not. That's precisely what happened. Guess I'll go pick up a clear on this dude while he's reloading. Or, I guess he never reloaded. Uh, he had a damage MRAC. I can't blame him for not reloading Loki. Alrighty. Stop an E50 here. Take the shot. I think I out-reload the E50. Oops, sorry if I blocked your shot there. Nice. The O picks up the clear there. Good stuff. And now we have a wild Minerato. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Minerato time. What a quickie shell known. Okay, this is already choker, man. Is there E50 still alive? Are E50M is still alive. Wait, where did he go? Yo! It's almost like he knew the 100 would be sitting in our spawn, but I would- I don't think it's rigging because the 100 is shooting at him. But it's very suspect. That's one way. That's- that's for sure. Not quite. Oof. That's a rip and a half if this 268 hits that. You don't hit those. That's right, brother. You do not hit those. You shall not hit those. Okay. <laughs> well, this game's just done. It's done. GG. Well, they had the bad spawn, to be fair. When you have the bad spawn on this map, it's a nightmare. You can't push out of A, and it's hard to push through town. And even if your team does push through town, usually it's 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 all, it's Jover anyways. So, um, poor enemy team. Really? 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 <laughs> ah, my damage, dude. I have, like, 1,200 assist here, but, like, none dealt. The 1 is about to nuke him, isn't he? Oh, my God. Literally a millisecond. My shell hit a millisecond late. Oh, sorry, Bobby. Let me just take Funny kitty. Well, I didn't fire anything, because, like, the tier 10 games are just insanely one-sided right now. Like, like, what the heck, man? 
I didn't want to overextend. Do I just have to YOLO like a madman to deal damage? <laughs> Fan is what your real name? Yeah, let, let me give you my full name. That's that, that's a great idea. <laughs> Debuchi. No, no. Oh, Debuchi. Ah. Debuchi is basically, um, it's Japanese. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. It's nothing more. I, do I have to play more aggressive right now? I've been playing passively because, like, yeah, the games have been just kind of rat recently, but these are so, like, one-sided fast-paced that I don't know if I have to be more aggressive to actually deal damage to these battles. Still cooking in the tank. Just last game was over so fast. I mean, they had an E50 and literally YOLO over the middle of the map into our spawn right off the bat. Like... Like, what even is that? The bat chat's been super aggressive. Oh, no, no, no. Don't shoot me, Sheridan. No, shoot at him, not me. Oh, of course, the rat chat is doing rat chat things. Look at this rat chat go. You hate to see it. Rat chat behavior. Buddy, I will pick up a clear on this dude. Or, oh, someone else did. Thank you very much. Do I have enough time to clear this dude? The M60 did wake up, however. We're gonna have to be a little bit more careful here. 270 heat is just not cutting it right now. Okay, R54 is sending it, so I'm gonna try and support him a little bit more here. I'm gonna ignore the E50. Oh my gosh, the one who wants to shoot me now. Yo, yo, though, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. You're just going to ignore the 54 completely. What the heck even is that? Anyways, I said more aggressive. I need more power. Gotta be more aggressive to get these dubs out. Well, not even to get the dubs out, just to get the damage out, man. I just, I just gotta be more aggressive to get the damage out. Okay, nice hat shot. Now YOLO town. No, no, no playing passive. YOLO only. Ricochet. Wow, that's crazy. I saw that shell go into the air. Ain't no way. I mean, her bat chat was just crazy that game too. Dude, it's 6-2. It hasn't even been two minutes. What is this nonsense? I can't even like get 3k damage out on a tank with 3k DPM. What is this nonsense gameplay? I can't even anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Gombawa fatness. Hey, Shocky. Hello. <laughs> Steam really killed my guy from the chat. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy stuff. Do I have to just start yellowing heavy side or something? I don't get it. It's already been an hour. Hey, yo. It's about to sound, uh, teach us your damage farming ways. <laughs> Obviously, you shouldn't be listening to me right now because I'm like barely farming 2K in these 7072 two and a half minute sweeps. <laughs> I think WG's back in or something like that. Where did you get that from? <laughs> it's partially correct, but the, uh, no. <laughs> Definitely not quite. <laughs> At least you're on a winning streak. That's true, Shock. That's true. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Shocky. Thanks for joining me today. I was gonna go heavy side, but like, what is this be NPC behavior? So our whole team wants to go med side. I mean, <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? Let's all just yell med side. That sounds cool, right? You know, better yet, let's just full send it. Let, let, let's just full send it together, guys. I'm going to be like super aggro this game. I wonder if it'll work out in my favor. Like I would never make this push ordinarily, but today I am. Do you want to know why? Because like these games are all steamrolls after a steamroll. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Yep. Yep. Of course. Of course. Of course. Look at this very talented 183 player here. Got himself full health for one shot. Never mind. Never mind the fact that my entire team was spotted rotating here, by the way, by the Leo at E50. What a silly man. What a silly, silly, silly man. All right, max roll with the HE. No, can't even do it. Can't even HE pen him from that angle. <laughs> Help it was worth it, token pawn. Very silly gameplay indeed, sir. Oh, did he pin my hatch? I'm trying to see. No, he caught me on fire, right? No, he did not. Damaged modules, though. There's the 50B. We're going to still be aggressive because, you know, that's the new way to play. Ridiculously aggressive when you really shouldn't be. IS8's back there. That's a Minerato over there. 
You know what? We're still doing it. We're still doing it. We're doing it for the memes, my dudes. Hello, Tortoise. Tortoise is on a long reload here. Hello, Tortoise. Thank you, 405. Do appreciate the assistance. Thank you, good sir. Watch out in case I block you there. 23, you gotta pick up the clear. No? That's cool. I can, I can do it. It's fine. Okay. Now we must yellow 50B, because, you know, yellowing the other dudes was clearly not enough for me. Okay, that's silly of me. Got myself stuck in a rock. 2.3k damage dealt so far. 50B is getting cooked already. Is he gonna rotate out? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, let's, all, let's, let's yellow the Minerato then next. That sounds like a fun time. Hello! Now it's just the Leo and IS-8 left. 2.7k damage dealt. Let's go, guys! We actually farmed! Peak. Okay. <laughs> I just died. We're gonna head off to sleep in a minute. Just a casual 10-hour shift with only 3 hours of sleep. Oof. Yeah, Shark, get some sleep. Definitely. Rest up. Tag me later tonight if you're on. After your much-deserved rest. Alrighty. Where's the IS-8 at? Where's the leopard one at? <laughs> Who's next? Only 2.7k. Oh, this dude's Joe. It's Joe for my man's here. You about to get 183'd. Yes, go! I got 3k damage out at least. Mission accomplished. Oh, wow! He spun 180 degrees! That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Aiming at the way through turret with AP Sarah is kind of hard to pen now. Well, especially if you have a low pen tank. But yeah, it, it has some troll angles. All right, well, 55A, tank cooked up. I did promise I'd, I'd take the 54 for a spin, I guess. Um, genuinely, I've not played this tank in a very long time. So, let me just equip it real quick. Uh, da -da, da -da -da -da. The more heat, the merrier, right? That's how 54 operates. Um, let me see its characteristics. It's just one game. I'm not doing, like, a, a showcase on this tank or anything. Uh, yeah, sure. Gotta, you gotta drip it out. No, you know, you know, you gotta drip out the tank. Cause why not? Okay. Let's see which gun should I be running on this tank now. Okay. So why does this gun get the 330? Bro, that was just dumb. Did we're even... Higher alpha. Lower AP pen. 201 AP pen? 201? High DPM, worse aim time now. So this gun now has poor gun handling, but better dispersion. Interesting, let's give it a try. Although low key, calibrated. I think I need 300 heat pen to make this gun work. Why does this gun get the 330 alpha? That's silly. IDP5A doesn't have nation. I don't know. It should be part of the German tech tree because I think it was part of East. It was like a East. Well, technically, I think it's from East Germany. But I know. I, th I think the T55 line was exported a lot. So, I don't know. They, they they should give it a nation properly at some point, I think. I recently watched your XMF stream and I think you should make another one. Oof. Shush. Steamrolls don't happen anymore. Don't you know? <laughs> yeah, they never happen. They never happen. 201 is stupid. Yeah, 201 AP pen is pretty dog water. That, that's going to be a balancing mechanic. Like, holy smokes. Still, it does have good DPM. Its dispersion is not the best, but, I mean, all movement isn't the best. It has one less degree of gun depression. Its mobility is pretty similar. Uh, and a D54 does have a pretty good amount of armor. I have not played this tank in such a long time that I didn't even realize it, it, it lost the accurate 310 alpha gun for 330. Five degrees of gun depression is going to be painful. Wow, why am I top tier in this in this game? But like, I tried to be top tier 20 times in the 55A and was unlucky. Okay, the dispersion. Yeah, you can definitely tell the accuracy is worse on this gun. But it hits harder. So, I mean, that's the thing. 330 versus 310 alpha. It is a pretty big difference. And I'm glad I'm running 300 heat pen. So, or 297 heat pen, but it's close enough. It's basically 300 heat pen. All right. Call down 54 shenanigans. I assume this is probably the meta gun you want to run on this tank, by the way. Yes, 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 perfect. 355. Oh, it does roll nice. That's what, three shots, 1100 damage? Or, yeah, something like that. That's actually really good. What the heck? The Elephant has uh, has done made mistakes. Pick up a quick clear on this dude here. And then we'll start rotating back for the CS53. 
Because that sounds like a good time. Hello, CS53. Hello, CS53. Woo-wee. All right, let's see how this armor profile holds up. Low-key, uh, 50, 54 might, might be cooking. I didn't realize he got 330 alpha. Oh my gosh, that's so uncool of you, dude. The Waffenträger. Not being a very nice player, I see. 375? My goodness, these high rolls are crazy. Like 380, 375, 350, you know how it is. 301, 304. Okay, you know what? Low key, 54 kind of cooks. Like, it didn't cook for a while, which is why I, I haven't played it in so long, but this gun is kind of saucy, especially in a top tier environment. But yeah, dispersion is definitely a lot worse, that's for sure. And I think with running this gun, you'll you'll definitely want to run the um, the loadout that let's just deal with the 75 first. The Siak Tigers and Nerny, anyways. You'll definitely want to run the loadout that gives you the higher heat pen. I think that's going to be a lot more beneficial on this tank. Let's get safe from the Yak Tiger real quick. There we go. We're now safe from the Yak Tiger. Let's track this dude as well. Let's go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff indeed. The Yak Tiger's not pushing up. 3,800 damage dealt. Nice. More damage, more damage for me. Thank you, good sir. Sir, sir, this is not cool, you sir. 413 max roll, that's crazy. Okay, 54 kind of cooketh. It, it cooketh thy enemy players. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 330 gun? 330 gun with what? 29, 2800 base damage per minute? <laughs> First try, ace. Easy. Yeah, how much would the GPM be with... Okay, about, yeah, about 2,900. Sorry, not 3,900. 2,900 GPM base with 330 alpha. I can get the precise number, actually. Its GPM is 2,916. 211 pen. That ain't so bad, though. 297 on the heat. Interesting. We'll play another game in it. This is very interesting indeed. Low key? Low key? <laughs> it plays a lot different from the 55A, in my opinion, though. Uh, or it feels like it plays a little bit different because it's not so much about like it's high accuracy um, The 55 a's gun definitely handles a lot better at least it's it's versus this gun. I have equipped right now um, and The 55 a I believe does have better base pen numbers and and that type of stuff, but yeah I mean, the 54 kind of cooketh. I mean the 54 was irrelevant for a very long time For the most part It's kind of kind of nice now not gonna lie The 54 still goes 56 kilometers an hour, which is always a W. I mean, let me, we, we gotta we gotta continue exploring this. It's it's so weird that it has 330 alpha, dude. Like, <laughs> why, why we're gonna give it 330? It was fine with 310. But I know it's like it has something to do with like the gun balancing, and since like the 62 shares the same gun, even though this one leads to the 140, it still changes, which is like weird. But yeah, that's just how it is, I guess. All right, hat shot, not quite. Gotta watch out for those TDs. So my whole team's in this corner. That's not very good for really. Oh sure. So this dude's just gonna yellow a 54. Okay, that's crazy, dude. Apparently his drive wheels don't get penned either. Three thirty on the heat. Very nice. I should out reload him by a pretty significant margin here. This is one of the shots of this man's. W. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. I6 got pretty lucky there with a few of those ricochets. I don't like how my team is playing this out. We're completely neglecting our rear here. But you know what? If my team wants to full send front. I will full send with them. Good thing I full sent when I did. Holy smokes, that could have been really bad for me. Okay, I'm glad I did not pull back. I was thinking of pulling back, but I decided that was probably not a good idea. I would have been cooked if I had done that. Holy smokes. Ooh, 350 even with a spall. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Now with my 300 heat pen, I should be okay against this 50. AT15 here. That is assuming he doesn't just full send it on me, which I doubt he will. There's too many crossfires. Nice. 
It's definitely a bit of a sweatier game. I like it. This is why I like the high heat pen version of this gun. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I get it. You're like, I am high DPM AT15. I just YOLO. We get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. AT15 goes burr. <laughs> Okay, they should be able to take care of those players. Sag. Alright, HE. 330. Oh, we're down triple cap. I gotta be aggressive here. I gotta be very aggressive here. We gotta pick up all the clears and get the caps that we can. Okay, where's the last dude at? So it's just an ISA. I gotta I gotta retake this base here. And pick up a clear. Nice. And then we'll just yell the ISA, I think. Gotta make sure I don't die though. Lovely, lovely stuff indeed. Gotta watch out for them gap points, man. They really started ticking. This man's AFK? No, he's just silly. I need someone to reset C cap probably here in a moment. Lovely. Oh, wow, the say armor profile definitely got buffed. That's crazy. All right, we'll have to aim below the spaced armor here. Nice. One more shot. W. Nice. Well, that ice eight was clueless. Thank heavens. <laughs> we we could have lost that pretty easily. Fifty four kind of cook. Hmm. First class. Forty five hundred damage dealt there. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's play one more game in it. Interesting. I, I, I'm I kind of liking the 54. Mind you, I've been top tier every game. That helps. Because I feel like with this alpha damage, you can totally get away running calibrated, and it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing too much of its DPM. Um, I mean, same with the 55A in a sense, but the 55A is like its alpha is a lot lower. After all the changes, is 140 or 62A better? I know you used to prefer 140 at least. I think the 62A is still a better tank. I think I still really like both the 140 and the 62a i don't know i i would say for most players the 62a is probably better because 62a right now is in a very very solid state with it especially with its upper plate being very strong the 62a reminds me a lot of the 54 in its current state um whereas the 140 still has like no armor and it can be very feel very handicapped in a lot of maps if it had seven degrees of gun oppression that would help a lot the tier 8 matchmaking too, all tier 8s. Straight up, you're right. It was basically an all tier 8 game. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, what's your favorite non-legendary epic camo in the game? Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, probably that digital, like, um, camouflage. Uh, it's like that digital, uh, cyber -y camo. It's, uh, I have it on my STB1 on my own account. <laughs> is the patch making back to normal? I don't think the update has dropped yet. Ne whenever the next update drops, it should be back to normal. I think I'm just in the honeymoon phase, honeymoon phase of the F of the T54 because I only just like played it on this account, so that might be why I'm getting top tier every game. Funny how that works, right? All right, so no one's spotted yet. I have to watch out and buy myself on this side. I gotta be really careful. And that's my cue to get out of here. That is straight up my cue to get out of here because I don't have any proper support. Enemy team are just going to send it on me. So let's get out of here while we can. Okay, we're going to have to push heavy side a little bit here. It's going to be a bit messed up because my whole team is clumped in town and we don't have any proper crossfires, but I'll do what I can from back here. Firstly, we're going to need to figure out where tanks like their... I'm not going to worry too much about the Yag Tiger right now. As long as he doesn't really have shots on me, that's all that matters. Nice, 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 nice. Put them in a crossfire there, boys. Put them in a bit of a crossfire there. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to start pressuring this IS-8 a little bit here. Nice. WW. The IS-8 is stock as well, so that's a clear for me. Nice. Okay, VK, VK. Go, 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 go. We, we push this together. Here, you can take the shot if you want. Since you're being so daring. Oh my gosh, VK, just go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice. Stock ISA plus his poor decrepit soul. We're shot into this KV. Alright, we should be okay now. 
This is just a free farm for me. I can side hug this KV. Need to aim for its field tanks. They're like somewhere around there. If I remember correct. 378! Dude, this alpha is insane. Alright, where are them field tanks at? Oh, we damaged them. 413. Oh, bless this poor dude's soul. Alright, let's rotate out. Nice! Made the quick rotation. I kind of figured their team was pretty split. Those heavies are ISO, which is why I went for a very aggressive push on them right off the bat. Because I knew we just needed to clear out some of those crossfires in order for my team to play this comfortably. Now that this, um, Yag Tiger is about to die, and this T100 L LT432 is about to get absolutely... Wow, he we do the same ram damage to each other. That's crazy. But he can't bend me, and he's dead. Lovely. Still have an ISU. Can't wait to get Emrecht. That, that just sounds like a blast. Doesn't it, guys? Doesn't getting Emrecht by an ISU just sound like so much fun? I'm doing it. I'm gonna go get my... I'm gonna go get myself Emrecht. That sounds like a true blast. Eh? Where is he? Eh? He debated me. He was too fast. No! Now he's just YOLOing to my whole team. What a silly man. But maybe I'll get like one or two shots into him. Come here, boy. No! What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's Jover. Okay, there's still hope. And ISU has not been spotted this whole time. I will have faith. I will have faith from the bottom of my heart that I will find me an AFK ISU. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm faster than all of them. Oof. Oof. 54 is really good. Not gonna lie. It feels really good. If I ask good morning from Singapore, awesome to see you again. Streaming Sylvia Mediums. Thank you very much, Zach. Do appreciate it. Mmm. Work your damage again. Okay. Well, 54, a little spicy tank. His legendary camo sucks though. Not gonna lie. Um, interesting. Ah, I didn't. I didn't realize the 54 got 330 alpha. That's that's actually crazy. That that's crazy. Ha! Huh. I was not expecting that. <laughs> LT432 pancake tank. Fatus, do you have a favorite soccer player? Mine is. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't watch football. I don't watch football, mate. <laughs> so I don't have a favorite player. All right. In typical fashion. Um, uh, gonna get ready to call quits. So, where's my, where's my Chad at Bismax 23? So, here's what's up. I know the stream seems like it's gonna be shorter today, only about an hour and a half or so. But if you look at a pin message, you'll still see what I'm saying. I plan to stream like an hour and a half as often as I can. Um, if I can do every day, I will. But four to five times a week is kind of the plan right now, just to ease into it. So... I'm still trying to f decide which stream times would work best for everyone. Of course, if I'm streaming four or five days a week, I can definitely split them up a bit, right? Uh, to different times. Maybe I'll do some in the morning, my time, and most of them in the evening. I'll find out what time worked best. Because I would like to be able to reach most of the audience. Because I do have a global audience, and I know it sucks for a lot of you guys who can't watch the, the streams live. Um, what is better? M M60, 30B, 120BE6. What shall I get? Uh, let's see. Honestly, all of those are really good. If you're in for a Hevium, the E6 is still one of my favorites, but very hard to play due to its armor profile. But if you know how to play it, it absolutely cooks. Um, 121B is okay, but there are definitely... I mean, I love the 121B, but there are a lot of tanks also that have a very kind of similar play style. 30B is quite unique. I do like the 30B quite a bit. All right, let's watch what the standard HE splash does to this dude's engine deck. Okay, well, never mind. We didn't get his engine deck. Uh, Fast will give you my soul if you play the 183 with no considerables and provisions. Buddy, it's going to take a lot more than your soul for me to do that. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All right, all right, all right. I want... Dude, what are you doing? Oi, 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 oi. What? Scammed. Scam, scam, scam. That was a perfectly great turret roof. Absolutely. That was not what I was expecting over here, to be honest. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. 
Can I stop getting scammed, gun? Holy smokes, man. Now the VK90 and the 752 is pushing in. Of course, the 752 is just allowed to push up all the way now. Oh, boy. I have been scam yo sud nonstop this game. You hate to see it. No, not, nothing I can do about it, though, to be honest. Unless... Why did I waste my max roll on that? Why? Why? Why am I trying to focus fire here? Silly me. What a waste of time. <laughs> oh, this game is not going well for my teammates. Dude, if all of my shots had just hit, I would have like 4k damage right now. This is actually crazy. Crazy how much I have been scabiosa this battle, my dudes. Okay. Oh, we got one AP, AP shell out. That's what matters. Hi, boys. Please pretend I do not exist. Just, 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 just pretend. Just for the sake of argument, pretend I don't exist. Oh, oh, he blocked one of their shots, though. Oh, I'm still dead. Oh, Yagtiger's not blocking. Oh, my gosh. What an insane team. Insane RNG. Oh, my gosh, dude. Well, luckily, I have enough. I can, I, I, I'll play to have at least an okay game. Yes. <laughs> the Yag Panzer 100, ladies and gentlemen. When you need it to high roll the most, it will not. Dude, so what even happened to our team? Like, I don't even, I don't even know what happened. I was getting blocked by that silly uh, T-72 or T-71 creature, which was just fantastic. But dude, the amount of, sh I should have had 4,000 plus damage that game. This dude, Julio Bruno over here. But he was getting my way more than he wasn't. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Thank you very much, Salam. Appreciate having you here. Um, with gun rammer, refined gun, and supercharged. Hey, yo, what? Zay team fatness. I know. It wouldn't have needed to be insane if my shot in the 752 it just hit his lower plate instead of missing his thing completely. Um, if the Foss shot it just hit the lower plate instead of like basically going under it. If the Type 71 had been hash pen through the roof instead of it splashing. And if two of my shots had HE splashed the VK90. But, uh, I guess that, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Oh, yes, I'm averaging 4 getting away three dollars after watching your content. Hey, yo! And I'm not even a good 183 player, but he just like YOLO aggro 183 gameplay. I'm not, I'm not, I would not recommend most people play the 183 the way I do. Because I don't, I don't really like sniping, and so I'm pretty aggressive in this tank. And, uh, it can go really well, but quite often it can also go very poorly. And I'm not really sure what on earth my team is doing, but we have a lot of heavies, so that's the good news. So I'm going to be nice and patient here. Wait a second. Wait a minute. It's totally going to pull up again, right, guys? They always do. They always do. Once they poke once, they always poke twice. Fully aimed in. Fully aimed in. I guess being fully aimed in doesn't matter at all in this tank. VK90, time for you to go. <sighs> this, this game's already over, dude. It's over, dude. Their heavy's already dying. I've been scammed already off the bat. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, no field. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that. Wait, he had a. He had a repair. He had a field. A fire kit, and he didn't use it. What a silly player. Oh, my gosh, dude. I didn't think he had a fire extinguisher. Revenge. Revenge is sweet. Okay. So, uh, that went well. Listen here, Badger. I'll cut him off. You stay alive. I'll cut him off. Never mind. I have failed you, sir. Whee! Here's where I die. I am dead, okay? You hear me? I am dead. It's fine. I accepted this life when I went for the damage rather than the logic. He's gonna use his reserve, shall I? Nope. 
69 damage. Let's go peek. Okay. Um, and this dude's being a wandering indie. I'm still dead here, but <laughs> that's funny. I mean, that game was better. You guys, he killed a spider. <laughs> I did. I killed that spider. Darn Black Widow's man. Shaking my head. Please play one match in Yellow Wagon. In Yellow Wagon? But that's on the agenda of future streams, you see? Trust me. I will stream the Yolo Wagon. Sometime. 3,700. But, uh, it has been... <clears throat> oh, maybe just one. I don't like this thing. This is your preview. This is your sneak preview. I'm getting off after this stuff. <laughs> your sneaky preview. All tier 10 as well. Lol. Yeah. Uh, you do know how to speak Japanese. You know how to speak or say Japanese words, words in Japanese. Uh, no, not really. I mean, kind of, but not really. Uh, it does sound like a funny stream. Here's your pre, here's your warm up. Yolo wagon time. Straight up. We don't do any passive gameplay type stuff. We straight, we, we're straight in for the YOLO. We're straight in for the YOLOs, man. No passive gameplay here. Uh, but no. Oh no, I don't have proper equipment. Nice. I don't even have it fully equipped. I don't even have her fully equipped. It's I. Right, it's I. Right, not the end of the world. Also, I'm YOLOing. <laughs> Just joined the stream and uh, the T55A was British. It's it's not. Oh, hello! Yup, 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 263, it cooks! It's gun handling doesn't cook, though. Leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest. Hey, yo! Is this Yag serious right now? Buddy Pop Tongue stated he just has no clue what he's doing. He's like, how do I enter this silly tank? Alright, track shot, maybe? Not quite, but we do make him a one tap at least. All right, any more waffles back there? Yay or nay? Okay, nay. You know what that means. We wait, 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 let me turn. Oh my gosh. You silly T95, you. You absolutely silly T95, just for that. Okay, you know what? You can pick up that kill, that's fine. All right, yellow wagon antics. Let's load up the heat. Oh my gosh, dude, this tank's gun arc is so bad, it makes it kind of painful to play quite often here. Hello? Really? The YOLO wagon way, ladies and gentlemen. The YOLO wagon way. Do you know the way of the yellow wagon? <laughs> Do you know the way of the yellow wagon? This is real talk. Okay. <laughs> Full send it heavy side. Easy. I straight up just sent it, by the way. Like I, I had I had no intention of not sending it. That's not good. I'm one shot. But this man's gonna struggle to pin me a little bit here. Unless he gets very lucky. He might be able to pin me here. Ooh, I'm tracked. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me repair in time. Okay. He's down. Lovely. I'm not sure that I'm Sheridan's are at, so, uh... One's behind. Where's the other one at is the real question. It's more concerning to me, personally. <laughs> Agent 47, thank you very much for becoming a channel member. Do you appreciate that? All right. Where are we at? Right on time. Fast is indeed a weeb a scum. Mm -hmm. Eh? No, I'm not. That's mean. You're mean. <laughs> Eto pop. Ah! What is that? This is why I hate the 263's gun. Gun is dog water. Okay. Hello. Lovely. 
All right, boys, we send it. Now or never. <laughs> Agent 47 has come to assassinate tanks. Indeed. All right. Another spider. Another spider, indeed. Yeah. Dude, all them spiders are getting it today. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, Sheridan, you don't messed up big time there. No, don't die to the four shot bat chat. That's embarrassing. That's actually embarrassing if you die to a 270 alpha bat chat. Come here, come here. It's safer. It's safer with me. I promise you. Doink. It's so shrimple. <laughs> okay, that was a funny kid. We'll leave it off on. Uh. <laughs> yes, curious you're late. <laughs> Fun fact, the camo gray wolf, the teacher is called Bonk in the Russian. Best came, uh, camo name, hands down. And it does it? Okay, let me check real quick. Oh, I thought you meant there was like text on it. It said Bonk. I don't think so. Right, great. Right. Well, 204, that's it. I haven't seen any text, to be honest on it. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, fun yellow wagon antics. Okay, well, I know. It's a bit shorter stream today. But, uh, wow, NAs. I know, right, dude? I'm a bit different. Aces, yeah. You see, big brain. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, Bobby, she she showed up early in the stream, but now she's back under the bed. I'm not gonna disturb her. She's a, she's a kitty of mini rests. Um, but yeah, thank you very much Emil, for dropping by today. Did you enjoy the T55A? Very good tank. If you do have it, duh, I would say don't sleep on it. Maybe give it give it some games. Although I was pleasantly surprised by how good the T54 is now that it has 330 alpha that actually cooks a little bit more than I expected. T54 kind of saucy. Uh, and I guess you got a preview of uh, the 263 stream sometime in the future. I do have plenty of streams planned. I might stream again tomorrow um, or the day after tomorrow. Bulk. Volk. Oh, Volk is, is Wolf. That's why. Uh, Jung, Jungu, Jungu, Volk is Wolf. So, so it's not, it's not, bol it's not Bonk, it's Volk. If you're wondering what that says in Cyrillic. And that's Wolf in, in, in Russian. <laughs> so, yeah, I can see why you said, you thought it said Bonk, but it's Volk. Wagon of the Yellow. Oh my gosh. Agent 47 with a $50 donation. Oh man, right as I was ending things. Thank you so much, Agent 47. Very much appreciate the support. I agree. YOLO Wagon. I already have the thumbnails made. I, I, I was up yesterday and I made 14 thumbnails. I was pre-planning my streams out. So, um... I plan on streaming very, very frequently for the next couple weeks as kind of a test. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for dropping by today. Great to have you, as always. Do appreciate the support. Agent 47, thank you very much for the donation, as well as everyone else earlier in the chat. Always great to have your support and uh, for being active in the chat, liking the stream, all that good stuff. And I will see you again very soon. Ain't that right? I sure will. Take care and peace.